Hi everyone, I'm Andre and towards the end of last year I created the Grand Handling Challenge which is just a series of fun exercises that you can do and in the process learn how to grand handle and learn about your wing. Uh, and the response has been amazing, people love the challenge and a lot of people contributed sending me, I think it was tens or hundreds of uh, video entries to, uh, to the challenge. But there are two exercises that still don't have any example videos so I thought I'd fix that today. One is C9, which is once you have the wing flying above you, you want to pull the bees so that you kill the wing's power with the bees. So it's kind of like a bee stall on the ground. And also D4, which is finding that stall point when the wing is coming up, where you are, you're able to keep it off the ground, but at the same time, not so much that it flies and not so little that it touches the ground. And that might be a bit tricky, but we'll give it a go. So, um, the wind's quite weak, but also very turbulent. I don't know if you can see. There's a lot of houses and trees and the wind's coming from that direction. So we end up getting loads of turbulence. So this would be actually the kind of situation in which you use a, a bee stall to keep your wing under, under control when it's going all over the place. Potentially you, use it, you would use it in a bit more wind as well, because you can see when I go hard on the bees that it, it kind of deflates it straight away and it comes down slowly that would be a lot more violent in more wind but it's a it's good enough to practice so okay so that one is done i'm gonna go for d4 now and try to hold it on the stall point You can definitely tell that it's in the D category, it's way harder. Yeah, also this is pretty much the worst scenario you can get to, for doing it. It's just like, if it's turbulent, I would say it's, it's near impossible. Because it's turbulent and not very strong, so if you do a wrong move, it, it will just die. Even if you do the right move, it still dies. I've gone for a different Top. approach where I'm just holding the A's and I'm not holding the brakes at all. Up, down, the right goes up more, the left goes up more.
wind is changing. Yeah. 90 degrees. It's definitely a lot easier to do if you don't hold your brakes. That was really good. <laughs> it was just a little bit of wind that was a bit better, a bit more laminar, uh, but not, not as turbulent, so I managed to keep it a little bit better. Right, I think that's the best I'm going to be able to do with the conditions because it's quite light and very turbulent so being able to do a minute of keeping it just on the stall point is quite difficult but hopefully it shows what the exercise is supposed to be like. Um, in laminar conditions at the beach somewhere like that it'll be a lot easier and probably you'd learn more practicing it so where you choose to practice really impacts you know how fast you learn. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and hope it gives you some motivation to go out there and try some of the exercises yourself on groundhandlingchallenge.com. And uh, yeah, I wanna say a big shout out to all these fine people on Patreon for supporting the channel. And uh, again, we're continuing with the move. Uh, next week, we're gonna be in Austria at the BGD team meeting. So hopefully there'll be some really cool content there. And then the week after, well, a few days after we come back from Austria, we're doing a 2000 kilometer drive to Portugal uh, to move. So videos will be a bit hit and miss, but after that, it'll be awesome. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.